Okay, uh, I'm making this video because I'm often surprised by how little uh, most assistants know about the new features that Avid releases because a lot of them can be very, very helpful to your job and make your life a lot easier. The first one, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for if you don't know already, is find and replace in bins. So now if you have a uh, certain piece of text you're looking to replace, let's say I want to replace FXSM here with my name. There, it finds it. I hit replace all, and there you go. Done. How long have you been waiting for that feature? Okay, the other thing you can do is a thing called uh, bulk edit, and I like to use this for, like let's say I uh, add a column for sorting, right? I go over to this uh, hamburger menu here. Sorry, forgive me, I'm working with my trackpad, not my mouse. Uh, bulk edit. And you can say add a counter and I want it to go into the sort column. It's going to go, so if I hit commit it would do one through six right here in the sort column, but maybe I want something to come after the number so I just hit plus and say maybe ABC. Now it's going to do one through six ABC. That's pretty cool. The other thing that I wish I had right now on my current show, but unfortunately we're using an older version, is the ability to lift muted clips. So let's say I had this sequence and I had this muted clip in there. I can now say select muted clips and it will automatically select all the muted clips in your sequence and you can pull them away and delete them. This is especially helpful if you're doing a change note and there's muted clips on the topmost layer and you don't want them to crush the clips you actually need for the change note. So you bring it you lift all the muted clips out and then start your change note process. One last feature I want to show you is the ability to strip silence. So these are stems. And as you can see, there's a bunch of silence inside of these things that I don't want. So if I just highlight these tracks, right click and hit strip silence. Hit go. It doesn't take too long. Okay, there you go. All the silence is removed. And because I set 20 frame pads, if you zoom in, you'll see there's a little bit of silence on either end, just like you want, so it gives you enough time for the fade outs to occur.